YouTube channel. So today, as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, I am basically going to be doing a WH Smith's haul for all of you guys. Just because, I mean, some of you really, really did enjoy my previous kind of WH Smith's hauls that I have actually done on my channel. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do another one just because I fancied getting some more bits. And most of these bits, in case any of you are wondering, are kind of like art stationery kind of supplies. Just because, I mean, I kind of really, really want to get back into kind of just like drawing and artwork and things like that. Not a lot of people probably know that about me, but I actually really, really enjoy kind of drawing and stuff like that so i'm gonna try and get back into it so i actually picked up some bits from wh smiths and that is basically what i'm going to be showing you today so i mean yeah if you want to kind of get back into art or you just fancy seeing what i've got then i mean definitely stick around and see what i've got so i basically just popped into my kind of recent wh smiths recent my nearest wh smith kind of store and picked up some bits. So if I just kind of pop that there, because that's some kind of doodling I have already done, because I mean, I couldn't wait to film this video. So I mean, yeah, I won't show you that in case any of you probably think it's not very good, but I mean, I'm trying my best right here. So I mean, at the first thing, what should I show you first? Oh, no, I might show you the sketch pad first. I did actually pick up just a standard A4 sketch pad, and it says it's perfect for drawing, doodling, or sketching. It has 50 sheets in it, and I mean, in case any of you are just kind of wondering what kind of a sketch pad looks like inside, it's basically just kind of just like plain um, paper, but it's not just kind of just like your printing paper or anything like that. It's obviously just like a sketch pad, so it's kind of a little bit thicker um, in kind of just like um, drawing paper, kind of I suppose. But yeah, in case any of you are wondering, you can get 50 sheets. It's 135 GSM paper weight. Not entirely sure what that means, but I know it's meant to be okay. And then it's obviously A4 size and it's acid free paper. Um, but yeah, I actually just really, really love drawing. Like I said, if I could even find a receipt, hopefully the receipt's in the areas I can see it. Um, now, that A4 sketch pads was was actually £3.49 so I really don't feel like that's bad at all and it was actually on a four for free but I mean I didn't pick up four of these for the price of three I just picked up one because like I said I want to get back into it but I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go so I didn't want to go like crazy and pick up four of them when I mean I don't really know how this is going to go I mean I do really really enjoy drawing but it's kind of one of those things that like when I was younger and like did art in school and things like that I mean that some people were just really really good and then my art teacher wasn't afraid to tell you if he wasn't very good and I mean yeah I mean hopefully you never know I might prove her wrong one day but I mean she wasn't I mean I kind of get it because I mean she doesn't want people to have like false hopes and stuff like that but at the same time I actually really did enjoy art until I got her as my art teacher but anyway moving on the next thing that I did actually pick up is one of these now these are basically it says it's a um, circle palette and you basically just pop paint in here or I kind of, when I had one of these before, I used to just pop the colours around the edge and then I'd kind of mix in the middle or kind of flush like dot um, in the middle to make sure I didn't have too much on my paintbrush or something like that. So I mean, yeah, these are basically what I use this for. Um, if I quickly find the receipt again and show you how much this was. I mean, I don't really know if any of you really care about things like this, but I thought I'd literally just show you everything that I picked up while I was in there. Now, this was actually £2.60. So, I mean, some of you are probably thinking, oh, why did you pay £2.60 on that? You can probably pick it up in Poundland or something like that. Which, do you know what? You probably can, but there wasn't um, anything like that near me. And I kind of just wanted to pick one up while I was there. Just that I've got everything so that whenever I kind of want to actually sit down and properly get back into it, then I have actually got everything right in front of me, really. And then the next thing that I did actually pick up was six black drawing pens. Now, if I'm honest with you, these are quite expensive for kind of just like pens. But I mean, like I said, they are drawing pens. So, I mean, you've kind of got, hopefully you can kind of see, I don't really know if you're going to be able to. But they kind of pick out like different thickness of each kind of pen. So, I have actually obviously got a 2mm, a 1mm, a 0.7mm, 0 0.5, 0 0.3 and 0.1 um, so there are obviously a lot of different kind of like thicknesses of the pens and you kind of use these in case any of you don't really know to kind of like draw out outlines and things like that um, if you don't want to kind of just like paint everything you want some things to stand out more than others so I believe these are about £12 or something like that if I quickly can find them on here they're actually 11 99 so I mean I was close thinking they're £12 but yeah 11 99 they are really really good though so I mean if any of you 
want anything like this and i mean it's definitely look for drawing pens not just normal kind of just like big pens but yeah i picked them up and i mean before i kind of move on any further if you do actually see anything in today's haul that you actually really want to check out yourself you're like oh i'd actually like that myself then i mean everything that i do actually show will be linked in the description box down below just so that it's kind of super easy for you to be able to find if you kind of want to check any of this out yourself but moving on the next thing that i did actually pick up was some acrylic paint now this box is a little bit battered but it was literally the only one that was left on the shelf and i was like you know what i don't really care what the box looks like i only really need the acrylic paint inside now again there's 10 um paints in here and there is kind of just like a variety hopefully you can kind of see that without just kind of seeing the ring light i feel like what you can see is the ring light reflection maybe you can see it slightly better i'm not sure but um there's all different colors in here and i mean i can definitely use these for loads and loads of different things i mean i just really really want to get back into it i really enjoyed art when i was younger and i just it's kind of just like a bit of just like a past time really i feel like it's sometimes quite therapeutic i feel like just to kind of relax and chill and just draw and kind of paint and stuff like that so i did actually pick up that and then oh i didn't tell you the price of that one did i the paint in case any of you are wondering are 14 pound 99 now acrylic paints can be quite expensive this was literally one of the cheapest ones. camera basically just ran out of memory so i had to delete a few clips in case the position is slightly changed but yeah like i was saying i did actually pick up these acrylic paints um obviously they do loads of different ones and i just picked up these ones for now and i mean if i fancy getting any more then i can at a later date but i didn't want to go like too crazy and then not be that into art like now i kind of want to get back into it but i feel like that it's one of them things that you kind of need to like practice a little bit before you're like not good at it it's not so much that i want to get good at art it's just that i kind of want to get back into it again because i enjoyed doing it when i was younger and hopefully i'll still enjoy it now but yeah moving on the next thing that i did actually pick up was some acrylic paint brush set or an acrylic paint brush set just because i actually obviously picked up acrylic paint and obviously i kind of felt like that maybe i should get some acrylic paint brushes as well you actually get six different sizes in this now you can actually get these for a bit cheaper in a kind of packet that are kind of cardboard at the back and a bit of plastic at the front but i always find that whenever i buy things like that i never have anywhere to store the paintbrushes after i've kind of taken them out of that kind of um like cardboard backing if that makes sense if you kind of know what i'm on about so i decided to pay a little bit extra for these ones and get them in a kind of plastic box that you can kind of reopen and then shut like you can just put the paintbrushes back in here afterwards just to kind of keep them safe and tidy really so just in case any of you are wondering where are they on here now these are actually um 11 pound 99 and when i was saying that these were 11 pound 99 i'm actually reading these instead so these paint brushes are 11 and 99 these six drawing pens are actually six pound 49 i thought i don't know why i thought they were so expensive but yeah six pound 49 for these 11 pound 99 for these so you do pay more for the kind of plastic box but i mean it's got to be worth it to store them back in there sorry for the confusion in that kind of previous clip i mean yeah the um black pens are six pound 49 the paint brushes were 11.99 just in case any of you were kind of wondering i don't know why i got that so confused then i was looking at the receipt thinking i'm sure i've just said that for something else and then it clicked so i mean yeah sorry for the confusion but that is basically what happened and you can literally just see yeah i am wearing a full-on tracksuit right now in this kind of clip and then the next thing that I actually picked up were some blending pens. Now, I do actually have from when I used to do art when I was younger. Now, I have actually still got some kind of colouring pens or colouring pencils from when I was younger. And I have actually got some different ones. So, I have actually got some that you can kind of just like add to water. They're kind of just like water pencils, if that makes sense. And then, obviously, I've just got some normal like colouring in pencils as well. Um, but, yeah, these are actually really good to just like blend in the colours, if that makes sense. So, I actually picked up these while I was there. Just in case any of you are wondering they're just two blending pens or blender pens and i mean yeah they're really really good and i mean yeah so i decided to pick them up while i was in there as well and they were they weren't that expensive i don't feel like 
and um, where are they on here and them on the receipt and these are actually three pounds 99 in case any of you are wondering i mean please do excuse my nails in this i really need to repaint them i mean i don't know why i didn't before i filmed this but i mean i didn't so we're just rolling with it and then the last thing that i did actually pick up was some acrylic paper i mean you probably were expecting something like this if you are kind of into art throughout this kind of haul but i basically just picked up an acrylic pad now it's actually come away from the um board as such it's just kind of unstuck itself but i have actually got um all the kind of sheets of acrylic paper in here now in case any of you are wondering these are 10 by 14 inches so they're quite big and i mean there's 15 sheets in here they're 240 gram paper weights and they're acid three as well and obviously it's canvas texture and obviously it does say it's a canvas textured sheet perfect for drawing and painting white paper just crying out for color it says but yeah hopefully i'm gonna get right back into this i mean let me know if any of you are actually really into art as well i know some people find it like it's not their cup of tea which is totally fine and stuff like that and just in case any of you are wondering the acrylic paper is nine pounds 99 it is quite expensive compared to like the sketch pad which was like three pound 49 but i mean obviously it's the quality of the paper and things like that as well so i mean yeah that is basically everything that i did actually pick up from wh smiths i mean do be sure to let me know what you think about this and hopefully you did enjoy this wh smiths haul as much as you have enjoyed my previous wh smiths haul which i mean i mean yeah hopefully you have enjoyed it anyway i mean do be sure to let me know whether you enjoy art whether you'd consider purchasing anything that i have actually showed today or whether you're just not really that into it really because i mean i'd totally love to know and i mean yeah it's totally fine either way really art's obviously not for everyone but yeah that is basically everything that i did actually pick up i mean if you did enjoy it then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i mean do be sure to turn on the post notification bell button if you want to be the first to be notified as to whenever i upload next but that is basically all for today guys so until next time see ya